Okay, so I just finished listening to a Sophie Tucker music live stream and Tucker shared a story that just spoke to my heart and I want to share a very personal story from last summer and a big lesson I learned that I think could help if you've been struggling at all with the state of the world right now. So Sophie Tucker has been doing a live stream DJ set every day since quarantine started. And Tucker, they were playing shares, Do You Believe in Life After Love? And Tucker shared a story about how he played that song very early on when they started doing these daily DJ sets. And he did not believe in life after love right then. He had just gone through a breakup. He was struggling. But check with him 100 days later. And he believes. And they were hyped up. And I was hyped up. And I just truly felt in my soul what he was talking about because I went through something very similar last summer. So last June, there were about three big major life things that just hit me all at once that were very tough to deal with and I was not in a good emotional place. But right around the same time, Beachbody came out with their Morning Meltdown 100, which was a 100-day workout program. So I said to myself, you know, I'm going to go into this 100 days and I'm just going to do my workout every single day. I'm going to journal every single day and I'm going to read something inspirational every single day. And I am going into this believing that at the end of the 100 days, I will feel better. It wasn't my first rodeo with tough life stuff or heartbreak. And I, I know from experience that sometimes it, it doesn't take as long as we think for things to start to shift and for us to just wake up one day and start to feel lighter and better and it to happen naturally and easily without us forcing it. So I had that life experience, but it didn't really feel like that in the midst of all the struggle I was going through. But I said to myself, this is what I'm gonna do for the next 100 days. And of course I had an amazing support system of friends and family that were also supporting me and encouraging me. I will say that majority of the 100 days did not feel good <laughs> and I did not feel better. I felt like there were some days that I was making some progress, but then the next day I just felt completely thrown back and slammed by anxiety and fear and sadness and just a lot of things. And it really wasn't until towards the end of that 100 days, maybe day 95 or 97, that all of a sudden I started to feel that feeling of things feeling lighter and easier naturally. And it was such a good lesson that really in the grand scheme of life, 100 days is not that long. And there's a lot that can shift within us, things that we think are gonna be really hard and take way longer. There's a lot that can shift in that short amount of time. So um, not only did I feel better at the end of the 100 days, not amazing, not totally back to my normal self, but a lot better, but I continued to build on that and it really catapulted me into a phase in my life where I just felt maybe is better than I ever have and, and really just good and solid and just enjoying life and, um, and I'm really thankful for that. So, um, and I think I've carried those lessons of last summer with me ever since, and it's really made it a positive impact in my life. Why is this relevant? It has been a little over a hundred days since the world felt like it turned upside down when everything shut down for this pandemic. So clearly we've seen how much can change in a hundred days. And some of those things have been good. And some of those things have been really not good. Um, but what I want to share with you is that when we keep in mind that a lot can change in a hundred days, it can really give us hope for those days that we might start feeling a little helpless. So I've noticed a lot of people that have really been learning a lot of amazing things about how we can't just be complicit in wrongdoing, but we have to actually be fighting for what's right. I've seen a lot of people extending a hand to other people and just, just taking better care of people and each other. We really need each other. And I've seen a lot of acts of kindness throughout this time. And I just think there is really truly the groundwork for a massive social movement to happen. So it's really interesting and exciting to think about what the next 100 days could hold, both for the world and for us personally, especially if you've been struggling. So in terms of things that could change in the world. I truly believe that social change 
does not need the majority of people to carry majority of the energy. We've all been to a wedding or a party where there's just a few people on the dance floor that are just really living their best lives, just, just dancing with their full body and soul and just living life. And it totally changes the dynamic of the room. It just lifts the energy of everyone. And I think also from, from a social change movement, there's, there's a ton of examples in history of massive social change that was created from a very small amount of people. So I think for me personally, that gives me a lot of hope on the movement and change we can make in the next hundred days and beyond. But then also remembering how much things shifted internally and emotionally for me last summer just gives me a lot of hope that if I am having a day where things just feel a little heavier, that that might just totally feel different in a hundred days or, or a small amount of time. So I think it's important that we come alongside each other. We continue to fight for what's right. I know for me, like I really want to be fighting for the people on the margins and the people whose voices haven't been heard and making people feel seen and empowered. I think that's so important that we're doing what we can within our sphere of influence to influence good and change and kindness and love and, and really actively fight for that. So, and, and then on a personal note, I just think, you know, we're all gonna have days where this feels more challenging, but this is what we came here for. And I have no idea what the world is gonna look like in a hundred days. It could be incredible or it could be horrible, but I am here for it. I am coming alongside of you and we are gonna fight like hell for what's right and what's good and, and I think, there is so much potential for what a short amount of time and people that really care about doing good in the world can make a difference. So if you've been struggling at all, let that be an inspiration that things in the world could, this could be the time that there is just massive shifts taking place. I think the momentum has been building for that for a long time. But then also if you, you personally have been struggling at all, just know that there's nothing that you have to force yourself to change or force yourself out of it. There might just be a day where you wake up and you just start to feel like you and things feel aligned and you feel more confident and, and appreciated and, and appreciate all the good that we really do have going on in the world and with each other. So um, I just want to support you in that next hundred days. I'm here for it. I'm here with you.